guys, the next process is to lengthen the wires on my ESCs. Now I've actually got all my ESC clipped in here already. Um, I've already done one, but uh, I decided I'm, I have to obviously record this just to show you guys what I'm doing. And the wires, since the, the frame of your um, the 450 is a little larger, I have to extend the wires. Now I've already pre-cut a bunch of wires here, um, different colors. Um, the yellow will serve as my uh, white on this side um, and also the yellow on the side, this yellow and green. I couldn't find white. In our area, we are in a small town, so it's a little difficult getting some electrical or electronic supplies. And that is what I've settled with. Um, red, obviously, red on that side and red on this side. Now I have marked the CSC and I need to clean these contacts so that I can add these new wires. I'm going to add these wires there, which will then become the motor wire extensions on this side. All right, now, first things first, I need to clean these connections because the old solder, I don't like using old solder and yeah, we have to clean that off. Okay, we have a tip and uh, to clean off old solder, I found the easiest way is to just add a little tad of new solder grab your solder sucker ready it and touch and it should melt a lot easier and there we go that's pretty much cleaned okay I'm gonna add a little bit again for the next one the next one actually doesn't have that one's already been cleaned but uh, let's do this one there we go obviously next step is we need to add fresh solder to these joints I'm using a very thin solder it's a lot easier to work with but it also seems like I'm adding a stack but I'm actually not adding that much come on helps if you have a steady hand which I unfortunately do not really have right okay next part is to right just to make my life a little easier I'm going to move this over to this side if you're wondering what the black stuff is that's just a hitch shrink which I have put around my clips or clamps, whatever you want to call them. Um, it just makes clamping sensitive electronics a little easier so that you don't damage them, they don't scratch. But yeah, that's me. Right now, that is a very small connector, and I, you don't want to connect it like that. You don't want to connect it like that. It's over that one. And you don't want to connect it like that. It's it's in the way. So the only way I figured out <coughs> how to do these connections is to actually measure a little piece there. Let's make it like that. I'm just going to cut off that little head, and I'm going to bend this into an L shape, like that. That's maybe a little too much. But I'm going to bend it back. Bend it again. Right. I've got that little L shape that will fit onto that like that okay now before we do that even though these have been tinned um, i'm going to add a little bit of solder to that this is the way i do it if it's right if it's wrong um, if there's a better way of doing it by all means um, i'm not saying everyone must do it the way i do it if you know of a better way or you can do it in a better way by all means you are welcome to do it that way um, if there's someone willing to come out to Clarkstorp, South Africa and teach me how to do this, <laughs> please, please do. Right, I'm just going to add it a little bit. There we go.
nice and shiny. Um, when you're at least you know your your um, connection is good, as long as it's shiny. If it goes dull, then you know something you moved it or something is not right with that connection or that solder joint. <coughs> well, that, that, that's what I've been taught. Again, I made that one a little long. Bend it back. Bend it again. You just want a, like a little foot. It can be placed there. All right. But as I say, this is my method of doing it. It's something that I figured out. It's the only way I can figure it out to get this thing working properly. If it's on the wire. There we go. It's just for the warming process. If I am doing this completely wrong, by all means, guys, you can comment below. But uh, um, as I said, this is the only way I've been able to figure out how to do this. I don't have huge stacks of equipment. And uh, I would love to find a simpler way of doing this. But this is this works for me. There we go, nice and shiny, beautiful joint. Maybe a tad too much solder, but you know, um, it's not bridging anywhere, and it, that looks good. Right, and our red wire. Now, fortunately, the red wire is a lot simpler because oh, the, wrong one. the red wire can be mounted flat, and this is simple easy and now i can do it the way it's supposed to be done and yes that's a lot better than the other two but you know if you have to if you get stuck doing a thing that has to be done one way right now the other thing that i need to do I have to get these wires out of the way, so I'm going to bend them over to that side. Right. Okay, that's one. And this one as well. Okay, that's out of the way. That gives me quite a bit of extra length. Now, these ESCs aren't wrapped. And uh, I would love to wrap them, just so that they look decent. Now, I've, this ugly thing that I've got here, this, uh, these capacitors kept falling off and I just figured out adding a length of wire to that is uh, just a lot easier. And uh, these are uh, hot glue encrusted because I glued them down inside the original CX20 um, body or casing or frame. And uh, yeah. Not pretty, but functional. It was my solution at the time. And you know, it's still, <laughs> it works. Uh, if anyone else can give me a reason why I shouldn't do this, by all means, leave it in the comments. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna heat shrink this. Since this is now going to be exposed to the elements. So uh, we're going to need a bit of heat shrink. Unfortunately, I don't hear, I have a heat gun or a blower or whatever you want to call this. Awesome little gadgets which you use with the heat shrink. I use a traditional lighter, which doesn't give a pretty look. It gives a bit of blackening, but you know, it works and it works for me. If there's a simpler way of doing this, <laughs> by all means, leave it in the comments. I'll look at it and perhaps one day, if I have to do something like this again, I will try it. But for now, this is what I need to do. Oh, what I just need to do here is the, one of these wires, this one's marked, this one's the PPM wire. And because these reds look the same, I just need to bear that in mind. Um, 
on the top left so how am I going to mark this one so I can see it's ppm I think I'm going to give it a black stripe or two then I know this is the this is the ppm cable that's it which just differentiates it from the other red wire okay pop that in there pop that in there and let's shrink it and try and shrink it without blackening it too much. You don't want to add too much heat at a time. Um, I don't know if it's bad for the components, but uh, I try and shrink it in stages rather than all in one go. And there we go. Not the prettiest, but you know, this is going to protect the components against the elements. Well, the worst of the elements anyway. Right. Not pretty, but functional. And uh, another thing with this one, I need to just mark it. Where's my Koki? Oh, here we go. That this is my top left. I do have a little chart one side so I know which ones go on which side. Right guys, that's one of my ESCs done. Um, now I already have two. This one and this one. That's two. Um, I really doubt that you want to see me do the whole lot of them. Um, so yeah, that's how I do them. And I'm just going to finish up the second two, uh, the next two and then um, we'll carry on from there.